Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your RuneScape name down below to be entered into the giveaway so you can win the profits from these methods. And if you like these videos feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that all being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to Season 6 of Testing OSI's Wiki Money Making Methods. And today's money maker is going to be Smithing Unfinished Adamant Bolts. And they were first released into the game on the 31st of July 2006. If you guys want, you can join my CC for all the latest updates and to know what new videos are going live. Just like this one you're watching right now. My requirements for this video are really straightforward. All you need for this method is at least a level 73 in the Smithing skill. But I would recommend for you guys to either use the Anvil in Varrock, just south of the Varrock West Bank, or the Anvil in Priftonis, as these two anvils are the closest ones to a bank. But now let's go over my inventory. My inventory is also very straightforward. All I have is a hammer, and the rest of my inventory is filled with adamant bars. And after my first inventory, I will also have all of the bolts that I have made. This is so they don't get mixed up with the ones I already have in my bank. But now let's go over some information about this method. Unfinished adamant bolts are unfinished bolts made from using an adamant bar on an anvil with a hammer in your inventory. This will require a level 73 in the smithing skill and this will yield 10 adamant bolts unfinished and this will grant 62.5 smithing experience. Using a feather on one makes an adamant bolt and this requires a level 61 in the flexion skill and this will grant the player 7 flexion experience. These bolts are often made for training smithing and for fletching due to the high demand of adamant bolts, ruby bolts and diamond bolts. And if you wanted to make ruby bolts and diamond bolts then all you'd have to do is add a ruby bolt or diamond bolt head to your adamant bolts. Players can produce between 9000 and 10,000 unfinished adamant bolts an hour which is a decent amount so you are looking at about 900 to 1000 adamant bars used per hour. The anvil just outside the Varrock West Bank is the second closest anvil to a bank in the entire old school runescape map. The majority of players will smith their items here and I would recommend using this anvil unless you have the Priftonus anvil unlocked as this Priftonus anvil is the closest one to a bank. But as there isn't anything left to say, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how many bolts we have managed to smith in this one hour and we can see how much money it will be giving away in today's video. Welcome to the final price check of making adamant bolts unfinished and here in my invent is all of the adamant bolts we have managed to make. We managed to make 9730 and that equates to 973 bars. So I'll just go ahead and grab a calculator. I will also put the picture on screen for what we paid for these adamant bars. So we paid the adamant bars at a price of 1919 and we use 973 of them so 973 that brings our total investment for this video out to be 1,867,187 let's go ahead and copy that number so if i go ahead and put these in the price check this comes out to be 2,023,840 so once again i will just throw this in the calculator so 2023840 and then we will go ahead and take away our copied number, which was 187187. The profits for today's video is going to be 156,653 coins. And like always, that is going to be going away to one of you guys. So now let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away these profits. Welcome to the spinning wheel. On my current health, 14 entries and i'm pretty sure that is one new entry from the previous video and our newest new entry is jacob mda so let's just go ahead and shuffle this a few times um there we go and today's one of all profits is going to be Congratulations to MCAT Blows. You are today's one of our profits. So now let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. 
The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order they rank in compared to the order I released the videos in. And column four is for difficulty. But after I tried each method, I will rank it. If it is really hard to do or if it's hard to do, then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is really easy to do or if it's easy to do, I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between, like a lot of these methods are, then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for like the medium tier. So today's money maker was smithing adamant bolts unfinished. And this net us a profit of 156,653 GP. This was episode 8 on season 6. So we are officially halfway through this season. And I rank this money maker as medium. Medium. I was going to rank it as easy because you don't really need anything after you get level 73 smithing but then I decided to rank it as medium because if you want to use the anvil which is closest to a bank to maximize your profit per hour then you will need to have completed the song of the elves quest and to do that quest you are going to need a lot of total levels and a lot of quests completed so that is the main reason i ranked it as medium you guys can rank this one as easy if you want to use the Varrock west bank to bank these uh, bolts and to bring out more adamant bars that is fine by me well i hope you guys have all enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really will help this channel grow let me know some more money makers you'd like to see me try in the future like i said previously on another video i do want to go on over to actually slaying some monsters so let me know some monsters you'd like me to slay and then i can test the money and how much uh, gp we can actually earn but i've been ben i hope you guys have all enjoyed like i said and i will catch you in the next money maker goodbye if you guys are looking around for your newest game make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest cd keys available on the internet for pretty much every game even new releases i'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out